I am Anil Kumar and here we have two interesting examples. I would like you to pause the video, answer them and then share with me your solution. Here is my solution. The first equation is 2x plus 6 equals to 2 times x plus 3. The second one is 2a plus 7 plus 1 equals to 3a minus a plus 8. So let me solve them one by one and then we will discuss their solution. So the first one here is 2x plus 6 equals to 2 times x plus 3. Let us expand the right side using distributive property. That is, we'll multiply both the numbers in the bracket by 2. So we have 2x plus 6 equals to 2 times x is 2x and 2 times 3 is plus 3, right? So that's what we get. Now, you say 2x plus 6 is 2x plus 6. So it seems to be true, right? Anyway, let's find the value of x. So let's take away the numbers first. So we have 2x plus 6 minus 6 equals to 2x plus 6 minus 6. So we get 2x equals to 2x, right? Now, if I divide by 2 on both sides, then we get x equals 2x, right? Now, or if I take away 2x and bring them together on one side, then what happens? Let me try that. So we get 2x minus 2x equals to 2x minus 2x. In that case, we get 0 equals to 0. So that is what we get in this kind of equation. Now, what is the solution of such equations? What is the value of x for which the equation is true? That is what we are interested in finding. So I'll leave that for you. So think about it. What is the solution of this equation? And I'll try to solve the next one. Now here we have 2a plus 7 plus 1 equals to 3a minus a plus 8. Now we could simplify this a bit. We said 2a plus 7 plus 1 is 8. Here we have 3a minus a which is 2a plus 8, right? It looks like similar to previous one. Okay. Uh, let us decide to take away numbers now. So we have 2a plus 8 minus 8 equals to 2a plus 8 minus 8. That means 8 minus 8 is 0. 2a equals to 2a. Now let's subtract 2a. So we have 2a minus 2a equals to 2a minus 2a. Again we get 0 equals to 0. Now what does that mean? How to interpret this kind of solution for an equation? This is what the real question is. Now, 0 equals to 0. Is that true? Yes, it is always true. 0 is indeed equals to true. 0. So, it is always, always true. So, what do you get in this equation is something that left side is always equal to right side. Therefore, what should be the solution? Solution is x could be any number, right? So, it says solution is we have infinite solution. We say x can be any number, right? So any number, right? Now, if you are working with natural numbers, x could be any natural numbers. If you are working with real numbers, x could be any real number, right? So x can be any number is your solution. So this equation is true for infinite number of numbers and that could be one of the solutions for your equations when you are working with equations, linear equations, right? So that is what it is. Thank you and all the best.